course, if the patient is in shock, you will need to install vasopressors such as norepinephrine. Sometimes you will even need an ECMO or you will have to use percutaneous derived treatments to remove the thrombus or to lyse the thrombus. And as already mentioned, in the extreme situation of no other option, you might even bring the patients to the operative theater to remove the thrombus. Anticoagulation therapy, while well, you have the option to use unfractionated heparin or low molecular weight heparin, such as Fonda Parinux, maybe even NOAX, this is still open for discussion whether or not it's just as effective and maybe even has a lower risk than heparins. And if you don't have any other options and if the thrombus is large and the patients are in cardiogenic shock, then thrombolysis is an option. So in high-risk patients, you will perform that. And if you have the setting of a cath lab, you might even use a lysis which is localized to the thrombus by pushing a catheter into the pulmonary arteries. In the long-term treatment, you'll be trying to prevent the reoccurrence of pulmonary embolism with anticoagulation therapy, or maybe even use some venous filters that prevent the thrombus from getting to the pulmonary arteries in the first place.